A dramatic Thursday in the Sacramento courthouse leading to a surprise verdict. It saw Central Valley Assemblyman Vince Fong have his name added to the candidates list for California's 20th Congressional District. Eyewitness News reporter Will Silverstein recaps the hearing and what's next in the legal fight. I will take this matter under submission. Judge Shelly Ann Chang heard arguments from the attorneys representing Vince Fong and the California Secretary of State Shirley Weber's office. Neither Fong nor Weber were present in the courtroom, but the gravity of the arguments created a spectacle. Fong's attorney Brian Hildreth argued that there is no previous decision from a court that prevents his client from running for these two offices. There are essentially no court decisions that we could find where a court has said that a uh, member of the state legislature is holding an incompatible office by also holding another elective office. Hildreth said Fong should be allowed to run for and serve in both offices because one office is federal and the other is a state office. The law of incompatible offices does not apply to state assembly members, uh, does not apply to members of the United States House of Representatives. We also know that this is the case because it's actually happened before. The lone exception was Joseph Walker McCorkle, who reportedly served in the California State Assembly beginning in 1850, California's first year as a state, and as a member of Congress in D.C. beginning in 1851. That was prior to 8003B being enacted in 1913. What is 8003B? It's a California Elections Code Secretary of State Attorney Seth Goldstein used in the office's main argument stating no person may file nomination papers for a party nomination and an independent nomination for the same office or for more than one office at the same election. Judge Chang says the word independent makes the statute inapplicable for Fong's dual candidacy. The court believes that Elections Code 8003 only applies to independent nominations. The court does not necessarily accept the Secretary of State's position. Goldstein proposing a hypothetical. Let's say there was a very popular candidate. That candidate could run for governor, lieutenant governor, secretary of state, attorney general, treasurer and controller at the same time, presumably win all of those races resign from all of them but the governor's office and then appoint their friends to all the other constitutional officers. That's the import, the practical import of petitioner's interpretation. I, and I agree it's an absurd result, but, but the issue is what does the statute say? Chang would eventually rule in favor of Fong and include his name on the list of candidates sent to the counties. Now the Democrat-led Secretary of State's office stated they will appeal the ruling and they may be joined by David Giglio, a Republican opponent of Fong, touting endorsement from 2020 election deniers Roger Stone and Michael Flynn. What happens next is another story for another day and a new year. But for now, reporting in Sacramento, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News. And Secretary of State Shirley Weber's office releasing the following statement, reading in part, quote, I strongly disagree with the outcome of this case, and I am gravely concerned about the consequences of today's ruling. My office will appeal this ruling. Weber's statement concluded with noting that Fong's name will be on the candidate list for both races.